people. Hello, people. Alright. So, anyways, we're gonna wait a couple minutes to let it become exactly 8 p.m. Um, tonight, as special, I wanna pray for one person in particular, and that is my Nana, who just went into the hospital with COVID 19. So, if we could pray for her, I'd really appreciate that. Um, but, uh, anyways. About 8 p.m. So, if you all could join me on page 127. And also, if you guys could put your own prayer requests in, um, as I go on, I will try to read them in the, if you could put them in the comment section, I'll try to read them afterwards. So. Okay. How's everyone else's week going, though? No, mine's going terribly, but everyone else's probably having a great time. Hi Amanda! Oh my gosh! The comments are showing up on my computer! This is awesome! Yay! I get to actually talk to you all while doing the service. This is great! Okay. Uh, so anyways. Good evening, Kim. Alright. Okay. Alright. It's 8 p.m. so we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, Alright. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, people, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. So, for those of you who don't know, we're now on page 128. Alright. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Okay. Uh, Alright. Which one was my favorite? I have a favorite one right now. That was this one. Okay. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God, whom I put in my put my trust in. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions, and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and a buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor any arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold and to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge in the most high your habitation. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you and keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder, you shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. That was um, Psalm 31, by the, or no, 91, by the way. Sorry. Um. If everyone could remember to put in prayer requests still. Thanks. Alright. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy, heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Matthew eleven twenty eight through thirty. All right. Thanks be to God. Amen. 
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are weary by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. You all can remember to put in prayer requests. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those, both day and night, who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you have now set your servant free, to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and sleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. So now I'd like to pray um, for healing for Mamie and for her daughter Cynthia. And let's see if there's any others. Uh, and thank you for Kim for the prayers for my Nana. Yes, if we could pray for my Nana, I hope, please, Lord, heal her and get her well and give her peace and help her with her pain. Um, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. For those of you who are wondering why we're praying for my Nana, she was recently tested positive for COVID-19 and has been sick for the past few days and is now in hospital tonight. And they have her on morphine, thankfully, now for the pain, but um, she's not doing great. So, anyways, if you could pray for her, I'd appreciate it. Um, that's all. Thanks, guys. Have a peaceful night. Bye-bye.